So big news this week with AI and large language models, DeepSeek R1, which is a large language model being developed by China, it just got released and it actually is set to rival OpenAI's ChatGPT 01 model. And not only does it rival, it actually surpasses it in certain regards. So here are some of the standard benchmarks and how R1 performs compared to 01, ChatGPT 01. And going further than this, it's not just surpassing or rivaling it in terms of its benchmarks. It's also faster and cheaper than 01. So it's five times faster and 30 times cheaper than 01. It's also better coder than Sonnet, which is Claude. And Claude Sonnet 3.5 has really been a standard for coding with AI. And so the fact that it's as cheap as it is, that it's as good as it is, and that it's open source really just disrupts any sort of gatekeeping when it comes to these large language models. And in this video, I want to go ahead and actually build out a simple chat interface that connects with the DeepSeek API so that you can see how this can be used in a product that you create or how you can leverage this model for your own kind of tools or automation or use cases that you may be thinking about. So we're going to start with Cursor. We're going to do this within Cursor and we're going to start by opening a folder and then we're going to create a new folder. We could title it Deep Seek. Open that folder. All right. So now I'm going to be using Cursor's YOLO mode, which if you go to your settings within Cursor and if you've been following my videos and you could definitely go take a look back at previous videos I've done. I've done videos on how to set up Cursor correctly and how to integrate Cursor with other tools like Replit or Firebase for backend. But in this video, we're going to be sticking solely with Cursor and running it locally. So now within Cursor, if you go to the settings, hit the gear at the top right, and then go to features, you'll see an area where you can actually enable YOLO mode. So YOLO mode will actually allow cursor, the cursor agent to run without you having to confirm the commands that it's looking to run. And so I have this YOLO mode on and I want to do a demonstration of how this impacts the process of building with cursor and the cursor agent. Things go a little bit more quickly, but at the same time, you're also letting go of more control. So we're going to hit command I, switch to agent. And in this scenario, we want to build out a simple interface. So I'm going to say I'm looking to build out a simple chatbot with an interface. And this should use the deep seek API. It should be specifically with the deep seek R1 reasoning model. So before I go ahead and submit, what I'm going to do next is I have to go and get my API key for DeepSeek. So if you go on the DeepSeek platform, you type in DeepSeek API to Google or the top right of the main page, click API platform. You can get to the area where you can create an API key and you're going to need that in order to insert it for your prompt. Now you always want to keep your API protected. I'm going to show mine in this instance and then delete it afterward. So just kind of putting that out there, but always remember to keep your API key protected. And so I'm going to put over here, here is the deep seek API key. And then I'm going to also go in and copy and paste the API documentation. So in the deep seek API docs, where it says your first API call, I'm going to copy and paste that. Also here is the, here are the deep seek API doc to use. I'm going to copy and paste this in. Let me see. You can invoke DeepSeek R1 by specifying DeepSeek reasoning. It has some info on the reasoning model here. And then also has an example that it gives here. And we, use, we will use the no streaming example, which is basically the output will be provided in one full block rather than it kind of coming out as the answer is happening. And so this is using, this uses Python. So we actually, hold on. So I need to make sure that this also uses Python. All right. So I'm going to go back and do this part. All right. So we copied and pasted the DeepSeek API docs. We also provided the DeepSeek API key. And we said what we're looking to build. And we're going to submit this as the agent 
on YOLO mode. And you'll now kind of see Cursor just go ahead and do its thing. There could be bugs or errors along the way that you need to fix. But for a chat bot like this, the result should be pretty straightforward. And so if we didn't have YOLO mode on any sort of commands or even just like in this process, it would be saying to you to run it. So even here, you see the CD deep seek dot chatbot, it would be asking you if you wanted to run it. So now it looks like it's installing Python and it's even fixing the errors as it goes along. All right. So it looks like it is now running. It says running on HTTP. It gives this server here and it, and so it's self-corrected its errors. It may not run the first time. We'll see. And if it doesn't, then we can iterate on this. I'm going to come, come over here where it says to accept. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click accept all here. Pop out terminal. All right. So now it says that it says the application is now running. You can access the chatbot by opening a web browser, navigating to this URL. And it says chatbot features a clean modern interface and so on. All right. So I'm now going to open up my browser, type in, this in. All right. So the chatbot came up and let me try to type in a message and you tell me uh, sorry something went wrong okay so it looks like there must be something wrong so i'm going to go into the, the developer tools at the top right click more tools developer tools and see where there may be an issue i failed to load resource the server responded with a status of 500 so i'm going to just copy and paste this whole thing go back into cursor and say you got 100 error also the chat bot should take up the full screen let's see what happens next all right so running on 5001 pop out this. all right so we change it to full screen and then see if it's adjusting the errors so i'm tapping one all right so now let's take it now it's the full screen and we're saying okay can you tell me about the yeah, race open source versus closed source that's all right, so still messing up. It says insufficient balance. So this might mean I need to put some money into the API. But hold on, let me. All right, so I'm now, let me just go and top up the API so that we can connect it. Then I'll be back. All right, so I've added some funds. I literally put like $2 in, which should be more than enough. Let's go ahead and run this thing again. This is kind of the process that I go through get an error, come back and paste it in. You see what changes need to be made. We're using this YOLO mode. So it's going to self-correct itself. If, what, if for whatever reason you find that it isn't, that it's looping somehow and it keeps doing the same, taking the same action, but it's not correcting the issue, then you can start to sort of isolate where the problem may be. I might be with a specific folder or file and you can kind of get to the bottom of it that way. But this should be able to self-correct completely. <laughs> and now we're talking just impact of AI environment. All right, so we didn't get an error message immediately. So it looks like it is going through. We're going to see if we get a response. I can take a look at the developer tools. Okay, so we got a response. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so the impact of AI on the environment is a complex mix, mix of positive contributions and significant ch challenges. It provided a response with in Markdown, and then it also showed the reasoning that it, it used within the query that was answered. So. It says here, okay, the user is asking about the impact on the environment. Let me start by breaking this down. I need to consider. So you see how it actually reasons through it, which is similar to what O1 does, where O1, ChatGPT O1, that is, will have a step where it says thinking, like dot, dot, dot. Although it doesn't actually say how it's thinking it through in regard to ChatGPT. That's one of the cool things about DeepSeek that I would say. Let's maybe ask something else. What are, I'm just going to say, what are the odds of universal basic income given the speed at which AI is disrupting the status quo? Let's send that. So it looks like we've got it. We've got this working now. And if you wanted to take it further than this, you could work on the presentation as far as the, the markdown. So if you are copying and pasting from Deep Sea, then you would notice this on the official app, the markdown would be copied with it. It's pretty cool how the thinking response appears, but stylistically, this could be improved. All right, so came back. The likelihood of implementing a universal basic income hinges on the complex interplay of factors, 
And then this, this is the thinking step. Okay, so the user is asking about the odds of universal basic income. So here you have it. So the DeepSeek API connected to this interface that we built, and they also knew to use the DeepSeek styling as well, but you could, of course, change the styling within your prompts. And this could, this is something that could get you going on software or a product that you'd want to build. And you can also see how this cursor YOLO mode really impacts that process because it means not having to click run every single time there's a command that needs to be run. It'll actually automatically run that command unless it really needs your approval or in interjection. And yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool how far cursor has come. And right now we're running this locally. If you wanted to deploy this and make it go live, you could do that using Vercel. Uh, Vercel. And we can also add a database. We can also add a backend. You can take a look at other videos I've done where I've shown how to connect, for example, a Firebase backend. But I will definitely in the future and leave this in the comments, if this is something that you'd like to see, how to deploy this to make it a live site and how to also build out a back end for an application you'd want to create in this AI driven kind of way. But that's it. Let me know what you thought about the video. And before I get out, I also add, we recently launched the Pinterest Club, which is a home for learning more about these AI tech tools and going deeper into these AI tech tools and emerging technologies in general. So if you would like to take this further and join a community that's just starting around this space, and we right now have up videos on how to build software with AI. So we're talking how to use cursor, Replit, how to get started with these different tools. And this is going to be something that we grow over time. So the link is in the description for the Pentridge Club. But with that, here's how you build out a simple interface and connect the DeepSeek API in order to use a chatbot that is literally 30 times cheaper than ChatGPT. I'll see you in the next one.